Welcome to this CCH Access Auto Check video. In this video, we're going to discuss how to create clients, add disclosure checklists, and complete the checklist using CCH Access Auto Check. First, log into Auto Check at autocheck.cchaccess.com. After logging in, you'll see a list of all your clients. You can either select an existing client or use the button at the top of the screen to add a new client. For this video, I will add a new client. When the Add Client screen opens, enter the client name. The file reference is an optional field for you to, en for you to enter additional information if necessary. Complete the period year end and the status. After completing these required fields, select the button at the bottom of the window to add the client. Your new client will appear at the top of the list of your existing clients and simply click the client name to open the client. When you first enter the client, there will not be any checklist added. Before adding a checklist, enter the period start date at the top of the screen. This will ensure the checklist is tailored properly based on the effective date of the accounting standards. The period start date will default to the beginning of the year that you entered in the previous screen, but it can be modified as necessary. After entering the period start date, select the Add Disclosure Checklist button to add the necessary checklist. When the Add Disclosure Checklist window opens, use the drop-down menus to navigate and find the appropriate checklist for your client. It's important to note that when working with industry-specific checklists, you must also add a U.S. GAAP checklist. The reason for this is the U.S. GAAP checklist includes requirements applicable across all industries, and the industry checklist is a supplement to the U.S. GAAP checklist. AutoCheck Auto actually will not allow you to add an industry-specific checklist without also adding the U.S. GAAP checklist. Additionally, you cannot delete the U.S. GAAP checklist without also deleting the industry-specific checklist. For purposes of this demonstration, I'm going, to, I'm going to use the annual U.S. GAAP checklist. Once you've found the necessary checklist, select the Add button to add that checklist to your client. After adding the checklist, the first thing that you must do is complete the tailoring questions for this client. To complete the tailoring questions, simply read the questions and click the box indicating if the necessary disclosures are applicable for the client that you're working on. Some disclosure sections will appear by default, but by completing the tailoring questions, you will add and remove other sections that are applicable for your client. As you answer the tailoring questions, the menu on the left-hand side will add the necessary disclosures. Prior to answering any of the required disclosures, you must complete the entire tailoring question section, otherwise you will receive an error message. This is to ensure that the checklist is tailored properly for your particular client. After answering all the tailoring questions, Select the button to submit all auto check changes from the menu on the right hand side. This will save the selections and allow other team members to see your work. The discard changes button can be used to remove all changes since the last time the work was saved. If the application is closed before changes are submitted, they will be lost. After another team member submits changes, you can see their changes by selecting the refresh button. In the interest of time for this demonstration, I'm going to switch to a different checklist where I've already completed all the tailoring questions. You can see in this example, I've taken the time to answer all the tailoring questions and the menu on the left hand side is complete based on the selections that I've made. After the tailoring is complete, the individual sections of the checklist can be completed. Simply click the appropriate section to open the required disclosures, read the necessary disclosures, and mark as applicable based on, the, based on the disclosures made for your particular client. 
Within the questions themselves, you will notice there are links to Accounting Research Manager if you need to open that particular section of the standards. Again, it's important to point out as you complete the applicable sections, remember to use the Submit All Changes button from the menu on the right to save your changes and share them with any other team members. If necessary, notes can be left on the Disclosure Checklist sections. To add a note, simply click the button from the menu on the right hand side to add the note. This will open the Notes dialog. Type your note and press the Add Note button to attach it to that section of the checklist. Once attached, a callout box will appear next to that section of the checklist indicating that a note has been left. To see the note, simply double click the callout box and it will open up that checklist. If necessary, a response can be left to the note and you can also edit the note using the, using the button at the top of the note screen. When editing the note, you can edit the text of the note and also change the status from open to cleared or roll forward as applicable. When a note is indicated when a note has been cleared, the callout button in the menu on the left hand side will change and appear as white as a visual indicator letting everyone know that this note has been addressed. Thank you for watching this CCH Access Auto Check video on creating clients, adding disclosure checklists, and completing the checklist.